Hello, friends. It's Hiroja Scheib of SSIDRC ROC Podcast. This is my live reaction to episode six, Kill Process. Nobody saw this coming, okay? Nobody saw this coming. Everyone was so focused on stage two and stopping it or seeing if it'll get pulled off that we didn't see the bigger picture. And and they showed it to us. They showed it to us several times. They showed it all the way back to season two about the 71 process centers, about even season one, how you how if Steel Mountain, what Tyrell Wellick was doing, like spreading it out, how, you know, you can't get all of those places, you know, the redundancies. But then they showed us, oh my God, they showed us in season one, there was a back door with the, the, the temperature gauge uh, with the Raspberry Pi. That's how they were able to get into Steel Mountain and into China. And Moby even said it, they probably can get into all the, the places that have that particular temper, temperature gauge. And God, Elliot, God, you fucked up, dude. You fucked up so bad. Beyond the pale. Oh. So Tyra Wellick is still alive. I thought they were going to kill him. He went screaming like a madman. He was told what the plan was, I guess. What, what was really being done. And I don't know. I guess he's going to be the patsy, the fall guy for all this, and there's nothing he can do to undo it. Uh, Dark Army's walked away, the, away with their hands clean. I don't know what the ramification is. Uh, all the paper records are destroyed. They really are. I mean, even the ones that Elliot tried to hide away are gone, and all those people and all those facilities. Oh, my God, I hope I was wrong about... Moby and Trenton possibly be in the Southwest helping with the recovery plan. Oh God, I hope I'm wrong on that. Oh, and was the, was this the whole time White Rose's plan was just to take over the world? Because with E Coin, E Corp is done. Even with E Coin, there it's it's done. It's finale. It's finished. It's over. The economy is going to tank. And China's left standing high on a high horse with the Congo, the Washington Township plant, whatever the hell that is, and hands clean. There's there's really no ties to it. You, you know, Darlene, Elliot, Tyrell, they can get all, Angela, they can all get scoop up and talk white rose this, white rose that, dark army this, dark army that. But there's, there's no proof of any of it. Oh, my God. The... Oh my God, I just, I can't believe they did this. Um, and I was wondering, what were they gonna do after stage two? Because we're so focused on this building, like the aftermath. Now it's, <laughs> prove me wrong, Sam Esmail, that there's no more story. You paint yourself in a into a, a, a wall here in a little box. No, 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 we got something else going on here. I gotta watch this episode again. Though I, I did have a, a slight little complaint. It was getting a, a little, even though it was kind of Looney Tunish, a little annoying with Elliot battling Mr. Robot trying to stop, um, you know, the hydrogen gas, if you will. But, oh, God. I. I don't know. I have to sit with this episode for a little bit, uh, sit for for a while. So I have no idea where the direction. I haven't seen the preview for the next the next episode. I have no idea. I mean, there's episode seven, eight, nine, ten. So there's four more episodes, plus two more seasons. I mean, what the hell? Oh my god! I, oh. 
But anyways, um, I know that's that much, but this, this episode was so dramatic. The ending. I think up to this point, they've pretty much shown, like, you know how they have, like, um, what's going to happen this season. I think they've shown pretty much every scene there is to show for this, uh, this season. That's it. I don't think there's anything else left. So we have no hints, no clues, no anything to to attach ourselves to at all. I mean, Christ sakes. It's all 71 facilities. Oh, I wonder how long White Rose has been planning this, really. All of this, this whole plan, this whole game, if you will. This tit for tat, this detente. I mean, Jesus Christ, Philip Price wasn't even on the board, really. White Rose was playing three-dimension chess, if you will. And Philip Price had no goddamn no clue at all. Nobody did. Not even Mr. Robot. Oh. Oh, Jesus. All right, so I've done the random generator for... Um, for this giveaway, which is uh, for the episode six, which is the Red Bill Red Will Barrow book, um, it is the book that is supposed to be the journal of the the time that Elliot was in um, season in the jail. So it has a lot of hints about some things. Uh, actually, we haven't seen Krista. Where did Krista go? Is he still seeing Krista? Krista hasn't been seen. Maybe Krista took my advice and got out of town. Who knows? But it talks a little bit about Krista, how she might know a little bit more than she was saying. All sorts of little hints and stuff like that. Um, if you play the uh, Mr. Robot ARG game, which is like these hints that are throughout the episodes, beginning of season one, all through, through season two, and even season three, where these little hints and clues in each episode and social media posts that uh, if you follow along and play and break the code, you get further and further down the, rab the white rabbit hole and get little prizes along the way um I mean, season two around episode two i think um that when that ended um the winners of that who won had finally got their prizes about episode two i think around episode one episode two so stuff like that so the winner for and i will be messaging you um today tonight is and i apologize for mispronouncing your name so here we go uh let me make sure is let me uh, let's see if I can flip it right there Amalosa Nagago is the winner of this prize which is the Red Wheel Barrel book um, I'll message you, let you know, uh, give me your details, and I'll be able to send that and ship that off to you. And, yeah, I, this show always surprises me, and there's, there's very few drama shows that do that. Do that. Um, for those who never read the books, I guess um, the best comparison is Game of Thrones. If you've never read the books, then a lot of the big events in that particular, uh, particularly the first five seasons that heavily drew from the book, uh, surprised and shocked people. Um, that is the closest I can think of drama-wise that Mr. Robot is comparative of. Um, other shows, you know, they... They do do little twists and little hints, but they do kind of follow a playbook, a playbook here, and even Mr. Robot to some extent. But the twists are so in depth and so embedded that if you have to be like, "How did I miss that?" But then when you watch it, you go, "Oh, it's there." I wasn't fully paying attention because, like a magician, I was focusing on this when I should have been focusing all the way over here, or focusing on the eyes, or focusing on the face, or focusing what's under the hat, or any of that stuff and it's very well played it's not very cheaply done uh these twists you know it's season long arcs season little hints see either season long or even series long hints if you've been paying attention you will realize that there's something else going on there's there's always something else going on there's always something hidden beneath the surface and this this ending of this episode with all uh, instead of the one facility going down it was 71 other facilities all at once like 
go big or go home. You don't think it's impossible? Guess what? White Rose just proved that it was possible. So, oh my God, I don't know what the fallout is going to be for this, but it's it's just amazing. I'm going to have to watch it again just, just as soon as I get off of here. Just, just to watch, just for pure enjoyment, the, the masterful storytelling. I might... I might just watch five and uh, six back to back just to, to watch that one take and go into that scene between him, between Angela and Elliot and just go through there because, oh, this show, this show, this show deserves all the awards. It definitely needs some Emmy nominations for writing and directing this season. It has definitely earned it, is bonafide, it's earned it. Um, granted, I've only, <laughs> I've only been watching one other TV show, uh, this television season and that was uh that star trek discovery and then i think when punisher drops like binge bo binge watching i binge watch a couple other shows but as far as you know on prime regular television though star trek discovery is not mr robot is it it's, it's the only show i've been watching i've been in other things and it's what i've been devoting myself to and she i i don't know what i'm going to do with well i guess angels of the shield but even still i i wow I don't think we deserve this type of entertainment. And I hope that this, I know that a lot of times these shows inspire other shows. I hope this show for once inspires better and greater writing and not just knockoffs, but actually someone sitting down, planning things out, whether it be for a season arc and just one and done or two seasons or three seasons. And, and we start getting another wave of better television shows. Uh, but that's it for now, friends. That was a, fucking amazing ending a great amazing show uh all all our assumptions all of our preconceived notions have been tossed out the window and we're literally at a i almost want to say a blank slate now and who knows what the next four episodes brings us but thank you for listening and again the winner for this giveaway is um alimoso nakaloa i'm going to be messaging you letting you know that you are the winner of this giveaway and uh, you have a fantastic time. Logging off for now. Be safe. Uh, this is Hiroja Shai. Logging off. I'll see you again, friends. Bye. Jesus.